Welcome back to Blue Collar Bass and TV. On today's video, I'm gonna show you my Minn Kota 55 pound thrust trolling motor. This is the Endura C2, and this is one of the most budget friendly quality trolling motors you can buy. So stay tuned. That way it kind of balances out the weight. Uh, so I'm going to be breaking down how I have these installed as well as the performance of the actual motor itself. So to actually rig this up where you have the battery in the rear, trolling motor up front, you have to have an extended battery cable, as you can see right there. And I have it ran all the way back to the battery. That's going to allow me to distribute the weight on this boat a lot better. Okay, so right now the motor is in the up position. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip this lever, put it in the upright position. Okay, that's gonna allow me to swivel the motor around and steer it. Settings from one, two, three, four, and five being the strongest power setting going forward. And you also have three reverse settings. So if you need to back away from the bank, things like that, real quick, it, you can uh, hit the reverse. They also have another model called the Endura Max, and it actually has half settings instead of just having the full one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I haven't found that this is an issue. Some people say that the settings are too fast. I don't believe so. Honestly, one, two, three, and four are very slow. So if you're just trolling around, trying to you know fish the current, things like that, like I do, uh, it's not bad at all. And then going places, uh, you you can crank it up into the five setting and it, it'll probably go around, I would say five to six miles per hour, fully topped out. And that's with all this gear and everything in my boat too. So right now I have it on one and we are just barely putting by. That's plenty speed to just troll through and fish. Crank it up into two. I don't even really notice a difference. I can hear the motor rev up just a little bit more, but not much. Okay, three, it does crank up a little bit more. Okay, and you can see we're moving pretty good right now, folks. Okay, I just cranked it up into four. Okay, and then five, it really kicks in. As you can kind of see, we're going about five or six miles per hour. Pretty good for a 55 pound thrust trolling motor. Okay, and watch my video on the build your own rudder DIY build. That's gonna show you how to build the rudder to go on this thing, and it's gonna allow for you to steer a lot better. I'm telling you, I can't, I can't imagine using this trolling motor without it. Okay, you can see I cut it back. Look how sharp this cuts through the water. It's just crazy. That Minn Kota 55 pound thrust trolling motor. Okay, and from my experience, I have a 24 group size deep cycle marine battery. And I can go out pretty much all day on one single charge. I ran this the other day on the five setting, which pulls the mo most uh, amps and I was out here for probably five or six hours using it pretty much just on five and I still had like 80% battery left. So it doesn't draw that much battery power. So it's gonna allow you to get out and fish all day and not have to worry about charging that battery or carrying a second battery for that. Okay, cause those batteries, the one I have weighs 45 pounds by itself. So I can't imagine adding any more weight to this thing. All right, once again, I'm gonna show you that you can, you can extend out the trolling motor handle another six inches to allow you to steer a lot easier. Okay, depending on your application, where you have this mounted at, it's gonna be better for you. Uh, you have different 
height settings right here where you can control this little clamp to where you can move this up and down the shaft depending on where in the water column you're gonna run this trolling motor. So I have it barely sitting below uh, the bottom of the boat. And this also allows me to steer very comfortably around, uh, around my waist area instead of having to bend down and reach too low. And to pull this motor back up, let's say you're about to hit a log or something, all you have to do is just lift and then you're gonna hit the little uh, button down here and you can lock it in different settings. Okay, this is with it in the up setting. Okay, and it's just a simple button right here. Uh, even if you're trolling in super shallow water, you can even run it like this. Okay, and that'll get you by. You can see it's working. Okay, I think I picked this up for around 225 bucks. And Minn Kota actually had a $20 rebate. If you buy, I believe before July 1st of 2021, you actually get a mail-in rebate back if you send that in. So guys, this is a really good deal on this trolling motor. I know there's some cheaper ones out on the marketplace and Amazon and things like that. Um, buyer beware on some of those, uh, but Minn Kota has an awesome name. They are known for their trolling motor products. Also, I'll show you the propeller on this thing. It's a two blade, uh, what they call a weedless wedge design, actually designed by Roland Martin back in the day. So it's, it's an awesome propeller. I haven't had any issues and uh, it's a lot quieter than a three blade. Yeah, back here is the Everstart battery I picked up from Walmart. Once again, it's in the 24 group size. If you don't know the difference, if you don't know anything about batteries, uh, that is the size and it kind of correlates to the amount of cranking amps and things like that that this battery has. Uh, the step up from this is a 27 group size and that's just gonna add a little bit more weight to your boat. Um, but if you don't mind the weight, that'll actually give you more of a longer run time. So possibility is uh, there to have a longer run time. So definitely keep that as an option. So back here, I actually have a little battery gauge uh, charge meter. So right here, I've been running this for around four hours already today. And it says it's at 77%. And I've been running it on the five setting quite a bit because the current is super strong right now because the river's high. So right there, it tells you what voltage you're running. All right, pretty cool. And that was super easy to wire in. I think I got this off Amazon for around $8. So I can place that in the description box as well. Uh, also the Newport Vessels extended battery cable for trolling motors. I actually have that hooked up as well. That way I can extend and put the trolling motor on the bow of the boat versus the transom. And if you haven't seen the video on how to convert your transom mounted trolling motor to a bow mounted one, uh, go ahead and watch that video as well on my channel. So this battery cable is gonna allow you to be able to fish a lot better guys from the front of the boat by working that bow mounted trolling motor. Something you're gonna wanna get yourself. I went the budget route because it's designed to run 60 amps max. So to protect your trolling motor, if you were to hit a log or something and it's still trying to, to pull power, you, you put the circuit breaker in and if it pulls more than 60 amps, it will actually trip this breaker, okay? And it'll turn your trolling motor off, okay? So that's gonna protect your investment. This right here, I picked it up for I think like 12 bucks. So it's super cheap. Minn Kota, Newport Vessels, there's a couple other ones out there. They actually make a battery power box. It actually has the circuit breaker built into it. So I think it's around 60 bucks for those. So that's definitely an option as well. So guys, if you have any questions. So guys, if you have any questions about this Minn Kota 55 pound thrust trolling motor, uh, the battery, 
the circuit breaker, anything that we talked about today, go ahead and put that in the comment box below and I'll be very happy to answer any of your questions. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you can become a member of the Blue Collar Bassin fan club as well as hit that notification bell and that will tell you when I upload new videos. And guys, hope you like this video and stay tuned for the next one.